I take no responsibility for what happens when we play Calling All Cars. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. This is a game that I got in a bundle with Twisted Metal Black and I believe Everyday Shooter over here? Yeah. That's a weird bundle. It was worth it for Twisted Metal Black, but I also got this thing. First, we'll show off what I love about Calling All Cars. Which is why we're starting on the title screen here. Or like the pre-title screen. The game selection screen. Because as the game loads up, we're going to get to see something that can only be seen in Calling All Cars. The Incognito Entertainment logo in full HD. Ain't nobody's built a slammer that can hold me. And the art style's kind of... Uh, I, it's, it's got its charms. Cell shading was all the rage. At this time... These credits are basically identical to those of Twisted Metal Black. So, quite the pedigree in the making of Calling All Cars. In theory, this is a very important game to show off. One that I should be thrilled to have the opportunity to get to play. And I did really want to play it back when it came out in 2007. I did play it a little bit. My friend had a PS3. Gave this a try occasionally. We will withhold judgment of any sort until we've had a good taste of what Calling All Cars has to offer. That keeps going. We've seen all the uh, familiar names we're going to see. Tutorial is a series of optional screens you can select there. I'm into that idea. Let's join the criminal. No, you can't do that. Calling All Cars is a game about being a cop and apprehending criminals. Like I said, withholding all judgment. There are a lot of vehicles you can unlock. There's Yellow Jacket. Beat the game on Captain difficulty. Or win Alpine using only the three-point ramp. Ugh. Just reading that made my skin crawl. We only have access to these vehicles. You'll note there's no, like, stats or anything. Because there are no stats. All the vehicles are identical. They just the tires. look a little different. I'm going to say hang 10. Because it doesn't matter at all. There he is. He's free. We got to stop this guy. And uh, we gotta battle the other cops. In order to get the criminals. The controls are very simple. You largely want to... Ram into the other vehicles, but you have to be using turbo when you hit them. Or you won't actually get criminal they're holding. We have a paddy wagon over here. Bonus points for delivering to a paddy wagon. We're the only person with any points right now. Lucky us. Controls when we are in turbo can be a little difficult. Uh-oh. 
Got away. So you can either turbo or nitro. It's the same meter, just above the timer. More about the timer later. But if I hold X, I will turbo boost. Makes me go a little faster. Apparently turbo boosting doesn't use any of our nitro gauge. But if we nitro, then obviously, we'll be uh, using the nitro gauge the entire time. We are only allowed to initiate nitro when the gauge is maxed out. I did just get shot with a missile, so technically this is car combat. I'll just wait for this to open up so that I can bust this criminal. And there's an endless stream of criminals constantly emerging from the jail. Here's the magnet weapon. It's terrible. You have to hold the magnet beam on the vehicle currently holding the criminal. And you have to hold it there for a super long time. You can't just grab the criminal by touching them. Oh, nice. I magneted the criminal out of the vehicle that was holding it while I was jumping into the delivery point for the criminal. Good stuff. But you can't just touch the criminal to get them into your paddy wagon. Paddy wagon is a specific thing, so I can't just use it interchangeably with the vehicle we're driving. If you touch a criminal, they go flying in the air. Hey, I stole another uh, criminal. Go me. But while they're in the air, anyone can grab them. We can jump at any time and it costs no resources. If you are jumping, then the criminal will land in your paddy wagon instead of anyone below you. At this point, we're at the mercy of the timer. We're seven points ahead, so we basically can't lose. We could lose, but it's very unlikely. The enemies will work against each other. Yellow Jacket here has no points yet. So Yellow Jacket having the criminal doesn't matter at all. Time to just do donuts on the cop's lawn. I collected so many criminals, they can't do a damn thing about it. Okay, the blue car is getting close. Hammerhead, we'll call it, because I forgot the actual name. Oh, it's a subway platform. Look at that. It says subway backwards there. But basically, we won this match two minutes ago, and we just had to wait the timer out. Now we can move on to the next bus. Bus, uh, he said. <laughs> Not bus. More criminals. Same deal, but this time there are trains constantly passing by. Obviously, I, uh, am not especially fond of the flavor of this game. Being a cop, constantly apprehending criminals. But the way it's all for points, almost feels like they have an agenda. About arrest quotas and stuff like that. And the collateral damage we cause in the pursuit of criminals is, um, downright disturbing. But 
This level has an interesting gimmick. Or we can see... This one in the middle there, you can't get to, but... The passing train provides a ramp you can use to deliver the criminal to the three-point mark. Still in the lead, but I definitely don't have this one wrapped up. I'm going to need some more points. For the record, controls in this game are dirt simple. The direction I'm going is based entirely on the analog stick. Which works pretty well. Um, that, that sucks. That guy's way in the lead now. This is like the main thing that gets to me about this game is how random it is. Everyone's going for the criminal. So it's constantly just everyone bonking everyone wherever the criminal is. That's bad news. Now I'm in third place. That was a helicopter delivery. The last criminal got. Crammed into a helicopter. Which is worth four points. That criminal went right for me. Wants me to have these points and have them I shall. Now I am first again. This level can honestly be way more obnoxious than it has been so far. But any moment now... I could lose it all. <laughs> the criminal is on top of the thing. Which is interesting. I'll take this, sure. If you insist. Up. Oh, did not hit the target. We'll take single points for now. All we need to do is keep the criminal away from the jail and we win. Which. <laughs> Kind of ironic when I say it out loud. Right now, the only thing we want is for no one to get any arrests. And we win. The helicopter is still out here. If someone gets the helicopter, they can tie it. And if they tie it, then I'm in trouble because that will send the game into overtime. You do not want the game to go into overtime. That is a worse punishment than just an outright loss, in my opinion. Good work, Lenny. Now you can move on to the next bus. Hooray! Into the snow level. What winter-themed crimes have these criminals been committing? Do we even want to know? Ah. So this level, the criminal tends to spawn a million miles away from the jail. So getting the criminal back to the jail it's a very arduous process when you are constantly getting shot and hit with stuff. And then the jail freezes over. What do you do then? 
the game told us what we do then. We go to the paddy wagon. Thing is, the paddy wagon is faster than your car. So you gotta knock it out or head it off at the pass. Or miraculously just get there at the exact right moment. And the opportunity to get into the three-point slot is extremely rare. The ramp is just constantly ascending and descending. An important thing is there are three weapons in the game. They are assigned randomly every time you get one of the question marks. They're pretty useful to get. But if you grab the criminal, you drop whatever weapon you were holding. Paddy wagon is impossible. So far, there have been no paddy wagon deliveries. The AI can align that miracle pretty easily. But yeah, weapons are one of the most fun and interesting ways to interact with this game. You rarely get to use them because you're constantly picking up the criminal. That's the goal. Picking up a criminal causes you to drop your weapon. So you sort of can't win there. And why didn't I make it up the ramp? Annoying. I feel like we're probably going to lose this run. We, we're not making qualitative judgments right now, say so. We're waiting until we have experienced the full game. Maybe this will be our favorite game ever. If we just give it a chance. More of a chance. The jail is frozen, lads. Go for the paddy wagon. So many chances. Hey, I got him in the paddy wagon. That is worth a lot of points. There's also a red paddy wagon. Landing anything in the red paddy wagon is much harder. The red paddy wagon dangerously speeds around. Constantly. Makes your life much worse. If you got to keep an inventory of weapons, that would be much more fun. I honestly don't know why they make you drop your weapon when you grab the criminal. That's sort of just a stop having fun mechanic. Because like I said, the weapons are fun. There's only three of them and they all are as little fun as weapons possibly could be in a car combat game. But they're more fun than no weapons. It doesn't matter what we do now. The rest of the time is a complete waste. I really wish there was like a slaughter rule or like a goal. Besides wait out the timer. So that if you got a significant enough number of points. End the level prematurely. Rewards you for your good performance. Really wouldn't mind if that were a mechanic. Good work, laddie. Now you can move on to the next. It is not a mechanic. Call it all cars. Call it all cars. Everyone is on the bus. All right, boys. Round up the hooligan and toss him in the paddy wagon. That wasn't even a new animation. The criminal burrowed out in exactly the same way he did in the first level. Same character model and everything. This is my favorite visual design for any level in the game. It's the Halloween themed level. Which is obviously very cool. The 
problem is there is no jail here. This suburb did not need such a strong and violent police force. But we swooped into town and started arresting everybody anyway. No one's gonna stop us now. Oh, delivery to the red paddy wagon is worth five points. Take down the TP tree. Delivery to the red paddy wagon is virtually impossible because it is much faster than every vehicle. I can't believe we haven't heard that line much more often. There we go. Helicopter delivery already in second again. Oh, so close to getting two consecutive helicopters. AI does the weirdest crap in this game. Their behavior is so erratic, so obnoxious. Look what the police, who were not invited to this town, have done to this suburb. The entire town has been leveled. Because of the police, their mad lust to apprehend what they have deemed to be criminals. And to be fair, it is guys in striped jumpsuits holding bags of money. So perhaps some criminal acts have occurred, but we can't prove it. The haunted house turns into the hated house when it gets hit. So cops have brought hate to this town as well, after they completely annihilated it. I promise you I'm not reading any social commentary to this game. How and why could I? I simply wouldn't. It's just a simple Halloween game. Okay. We want to keep this weird green car from scoring anything. Anyone but the green car. Although, this guy could tie it pretty quickly. Alright, we're all set. We probably cannot lose at this point, which is good. I'll be honest, I'm very, very, very surprised that I haven't failed a single level yet. Maybe I will now. It's about time. You keep the criminal. This guy is not permitted to touch the criminal. So I'm just gonna try to play keep away here. Hold on to the one remaining criminal. Hop around a bunch. That's perfectly fine. Better not have a 10 second snipe from this guy. Oh, so close. The green guy very, very nearly delivered a criminal to that paddy wagon right there. It just barely squeezed out of the exit at the last moment. We unlocked an outhouse for our excellent criminal arresting performance. Let's save our game. Uh, if that ain't on the nose, I don't know what is.
We won the Donut Cup. I'll be honest. This took a lot of practice to be this good at this game. It really doesn't take much practice. What it takes is a lot of frustration. This game has about 20 minutes of content in it. That's one of the big complaints against the game. Is that you can beat the whole game in about 20 minutes. Like we just did. Some people are satisfied never playing it again after those 20 minutes. I think I'm one of those people. Beat train yards using only the helicopter. We now know what these mean, and we now know why these challenges are not a thing that I am pursuing. I think we saw either Fleabag or Litterbox. There's a car that looks like a cat. I like that car. I wish that car would be transplanted into Twisted Metal officially. But yeah, a lot of people complained, one of the most common complaints, is that there wasn't very much content in this game. My most common complaint is that the game is very, very, very obnoxious. I extremely dislike this game. I had a miserable time practicing it to show it off. But that practice paid off. We beat the game in the minimum amount of time because it's all on a time limit that you cannot increase. You can't speed it up in any way. Ugh. Well, I'm glad that went smoothly. I'm glad I didn't have to keep playing this game for any longer. And I don't have to keep talking about it for any longer. It's a weird little curiosity. I wish it was better. Because clearly a lot of hard work went into this game. The presentation is pretty sharp. I don't like the design at all. I don't like the flavor of it. I don't like the idea. There's nothing about this game that I like. But the art style is pretty neat. And that is Calling All Cars. A morbid curiosity. Rightfully forgotten from the history of Incognito Entertainment. Thank you for checking it out with me. I'm free, and so are you. I highly doubt I will ever play this game again. And there we go. Like I said, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good one.